Okay, our project today uh, is going to be, we're, we're actually repainting the lower muffler uh, exhaust cover and this sits you know below the bike on the left and the right sides so what we want to do is we want to repaint this to match the 2012 gold wing which uses a little bit more metallic paint it's a little bit nicer looking and the reason is because I'm putting the bike up for sale I want it to look nice and I've removed these two covers from the left and right side uh, I've already started work on the right cover this is the left cover You'll notice there's some uh, paint chips out of here, uh, a few minor scratches on the left side. We had some dings that we had to repair. And the first thing is we're gonna remove all these rubber uh, grommets and, and little seals around here so that we can get to the painted parts without you know, affecting the rubber. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to use some 800 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to kind of rough up this surface. Uh, Honda has really, really good primer on these pieces, so I don't really want to take off all the primer. I just want to kind of scuff up the uh, paint and give it a, a good surface for my primer and my paint to adhere to. Probably don't even really have to prime these pieces because they're primed so well from Honda. Um, and this particular piece is in pretty good condition. It doesn't have any dings, doesn't have any real scarring. That was all on the right side. Those have all been repaired. I was uh, required to get down to bare metal to put some uh, body putty on, on that side. On this side, I'm just going to basically use this 800 grit sandpaper and just scuff up the, get, you know, basically get the clear coat off and, and rough it up enough so that I can uh, get something okay, to stick to Okay, I'm getting to ready it. to apply my first coat of primer to the left side uh, lower cover and I'm going to use my paint booth that this city of Carrollton has so graciously provided me with, uh, aka uh, trash bin. And I usually put some plastic over the edge and then I just use that as my paint booth. We've got a nice clear day today, uh, not no wind, um, so only a little bit of yard work going on in the background. But I'm just going to start applying a real light coat of this uh, Rust-Oleum primer. I've already uh, you know, cleaned the surface really good, dried it off, and uh, just going to hit this with a real light coat all the way around. And uh, after I'm done, we'll see what it looks like. As you can see, the primer's going on good. I've already shaken the can for several minutes to get it all uh, shaken up good. And once we have this primer on, then we'll be able to kind of go back and look and see where the little problem areas are if we need to repair anything. Well, we're in the shop and we are uh, sanding down the lower cowl. Uh, actually, it's a muffler protector and uh, I'm using uh, some 220 grit sandpaper on here. I'm going to sand this down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm not sure if you can see, there's, there's some, uh, some dents and dings from rocks that have come up from the road and uh, you, the, the finish is pretty dull right now because I've done some sanding on it. You can see kind of how dull it is. Uh, back here there are a lot of little scrapes from uh, rock chips and I've basically just sanded this down uh, to take the shine off the finish because uh, I'm going to come in here later and I'm going to clean it up real good and I'm going to hit this with some new paint to match the 2012 uh, lower cowl on the gold wing. Uh, before I do that though I'm going to try to get some body putty and there's some little dings in here and dents and I'm going to try to fill those in and smooth them out. Do a little body work on this metal not sure if you can see those those little dings and dents there when I turn it up at an angle. Maybe you can kind of see the contour there. Uh, so I'm going to do some work on this and then we'll see uh, the next step when I put the body filler Okay, on. I need to remove a little more material so I'm going to use this Dremel tool. Uh, it has a what they call an abrasive buff and it's usually pretty good for removing uh, some of this paint and some of this material. It's much easier than trying to sand it by hand because I've got to get inside these little dimples. So I'm going to give that a try. Okay, now we've got the, uh, the panel, or I should say the, uh, the cover primed. And now that it's got primer on it, you can see the dimples I'm talking about a little bit 
a little bit better. And those big ones are the ones I'm going to try to fill with some body filler. You know, when you get it all painted the same color and you get the scratches out, you really can hardly even notice the, the gouges. Uh, but you know, I think once I get it painted, uh, those will probably go away. But I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of filler on there and see if I can fill in these dimples. And uh, we'll, you know, when the paint comes in, I'll repaint these the new color. I'll paint, you know, probably put two or three coats of paint on, put on a, coat, a couple of coats of clear, uh, sand it down, buff it out a little bit, and it should look better than new. Here I've got the, uh, the front cowl off the bike. You can see the driving lights are still installed. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna tape these up with masking tape uh, so that when I do spray paint this, uh, that no overspray will get on those headlamps. Uh, rather than take the lights out, uh, you know, it's just an extra 10 or 15 minutes to take them out and put them back in. Uh, but you can see some of the wear down here. I don't know if you can see it or not from, you know, just from road rash and, and rocks and little gravel chips and things. And the paint, you know, is just kind of faded and got some little tiny dings in it. Nothing major. Uh, but, you know, as long as I'm doing it, I might as well do it right and go ahead and repaint this to match the, uh, uh, the new um, uh, muffler protectors so it'll all be uniform. So this way it'll look like a brand new bike. Okay, now in this section what I'm doing is I'm actually filling some of the little uh, uh, scratches and dings that were in this body panel. I'm using this uh, uh, Bondo glazing and spot putty rather than using body filler because these are so small I think I can get by. These are tiny little dings and you can see here where I've applied some of this. It's drying right now and once it's dry I'll sand it down and apply another coat of this uh, bonding. You can see there was a little a tiny scratch back here I'm going to try to fill. Uh, and there's, here's another one that I've just cleaned up with some acetone and I'm going to put some body filler in that right now and spread it and so we can get a nice flat surface for our uh, primer and paint to adhere to. Okay now we have the uh, the cowl piece uh, completely primed. Uh, all the body filler has been sanded down. Uh, I've got uh, primer and it's all been wet sanded with 800 grit sandpaper. So this piece is just about ready uh, for paint, for the first coat of paint. Uh, even though there might be a couple of other uh, things I need to do just to tweak. But you can see how much smoother uh, that all the dings are out of that little rounded piece because we use the body filler. We just have a much straighter, uh, cleaner, smoother uh, piece. And you know, even though this is a piece that doesn't really show on the bike, it's more of an accent piece. It sits underneath the bike where you rarely even see it. Um, you know, we're going to go ahead and give this the full wet sand buffing uh, so that, to really make it look uh, like a showroom piece. Uh, better than stock, better than new. Because I'm actually doing some wet sanding on this front cowl. You can see it's been primed uh, using the uh, Rust-Oleum primer. And what I do is I go around, I, I kind of put some water, I have some water in a cup, and I go around and I, and I just feel the paint. Uh, and, and if it feels rough or kind of, you know, rough in any areas, that's where I'll go back. Uh, with some of this 800 grit wet sandpaper and I'll wet sand that little spot uh, to smooth it out because I want this to be, uh, even though I don't want it completely smooth and polished, I want it to be a, a good smooth uh, surface for the, for the base coat to adhere to uh, so that we'll get a good, you know, a good, uh, you know, good coat of paint on there and have it look proper because if, if, if the foundation, if the, if the primer is rough at all, then that's going to show up in the final paint because it is a metallic paint. Uh, so I go all around, I feel with my hand, sometimes I'll take a, a real damp uh, <clears throat> microfiber and, and it will kind of hang. If there's any, any rough spots in the, in the primer, it'll hang up on those spots and then I'll know where to go back and do a little wet sanding. I've pretty much got this one ready to go and I think this piece uh, is ready for the base coat. I want this, we're going to apply uh, probably two, maybe even three coats of base coat uh, of the metallic and then we'll go over it with two or three coats of clear and then we'll come back and do some more wet sanding and uh, buffing and rubbing out the paint so we get a good, a good glossy finish.